Today's proposal goes out of all the usual canons and destinations, a passport to the not-so-distant past, a postcard with stamps of nostalgia and clear and predictable times. We arrived in Transnistria, a place clinging to its Soviet past. Despite the fact that governments travel guides and a thousand recommendations on the internet advise against visiting this place, we decided, as usual, to swim against the tide, especially when it is the modern West that gives such advice. Pridnestrovian Republic of Moldova, better known as Transnistria, is located mainly between the Dinister River and the eastern border of Moldova with Ukraine. It is a land not recognized neither by Moldova nor by the international community. Although people try to cover the sun with a finger, Transnistria is de facto an independent state, organized as a presidential republic, with its own government, parliament, armed forces, police, postal system, and its own currency. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, tensions between the Moldovan government and the authorities of the separatist state of Transnistria escalated until a ceasefire was reached in July 1992, coinciding with the accession of the newly independent Moldova to the United Nations. this, one runs the risk of thinking that this small place lives in an atmosphere of military tension, police controls and border blockades. Nothing could be further from the truth. The truth is that the streets of Tiraspol, its capital, offer the opposite, an atmosphere of tranquility, sobriety and good spirits of its citizens. Someone could easily think that this place is more Russian than Russia itself. The sober and Soviet architecture is a constant. Supposedly, the Romanian language is forbidden, but to be franco, if it wasn't, little would be heard. With such a uniform mood and in step with the Russian Federation, who in 1898 um, provides protection and has troops stationed within its territory, to be against its roots would be like shooting yourself in the leg. Tiraspol, everything seems frozen in time. 
but it is not a pause associated with decadence. An antique halo is generated, vintage cars, old buses, roads in perfect condition, show a state in harmony with its past and a slow bet on the future. The traveller's saddlebags are usually loaded with his own unfounded prejudices. And the worst thing is to concentrate on the difficulties along the way. Opening quotation marks, the biggest complications you will find are to adapt to the fact that in Transnistria you do not trade with euros, dollars or any other currency. Everything is in the local currency, the Transnistrian ruble, nor do international credit or debit cards work. We're back to the times of the old trips, where you arrived at a place and had to change money into the local currency. makeshift beach gives the place a seaside resort feel. The local climate honours the place. The diaphanous sky highlights the extreme neatness of its roads. Tiraspol is transformed into a sort of mini-planet. Comparisons are odious, but they are often unavoidable. While in Moldova, a country that flirts with the European Union and pretends to be part of it, one sees postcards that reflect severe economic difficulties. Meanwhile, in the unrecognized Transnistria, you see prosperity, calm and business intelligence. In terms of energy resources, these come with gas from Russia and the European Union accounts for 70% of its exports. Despite being unrecognized and a thorn in Moldova's side, the new country is attracting immigrants from Moldova's Rus areas. and at noon we were close to 40. Crazy heat. Thank you very much for coming here. Seriously, thank you very, very much. Oh, let me know below in the comments what you thought of this sort of time machine. I went back to the times of the Soviet Union for a while and I'd like, I like to go back in time to those moments where everything was defined, where we all knew that things were white and things were black. Now, not so much we'll see each other in this content, but I'll leave you here or in a few days in a new video. I can't even stand my glasses because of the heat. Behave yourself if you come here, I know you. Bye.